when three years ago i saw a bunch of foreigners who ventured out of the countries out of the comfort zone passing bricks and soil containers to one another to construct a dam for a small village located on the opposite side of the path my heart beamed with pride on humanity 2018 president at york county council of the main association of realtors 2018 good neighbor award winner at the national association of realtors 2020 recipient of humanitarian award at exit reality corporation international is really come a long way sassy charged influential i have with us today the inspiring alias thomas so welcome to the curiosity reloaded mr alias it's a great pleasure having you here thank you very much thank you thank you for having me how is the corona phase going Okay. Uh, my wife and I seem to be safe. We have not yeah. uh, been involved um, with uh, directly with anyone with corona. So okay. we're very fortunate. So how many countries have you visited, sir? How many countries have I visited? Yeah. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Probably 12 or 15. Okay, okay. The kind of work that you are doing the selfless service that you are imparting is really great what else do you do except for uh, you know constructing dams <laughs> that is not my uh, my regular uh, employment is uh, i am a, an estate agent i okay. sell properties okay okay what advice would you give to a 20 year old like to be well, successful in life right uh, who are less fortunate right right so how important are relationships in your life relationships are it's all about relationships yeah yeah well, how do we find proper time because if you do not have relationships with other with other people and with right. other villagers and um uh other people around the world if you do not have an understanding and a respect for those cultures that are different from your own yeah. um i think that you are you are missing something yeah, you're missing right. a, a big uh, portion of your life and uh, one of the um, one of the the uh, philosophical uh, thoughts that i have uh, recently been a part of is right. deliberate discomfort right. Right. Do you understand that concept? Yeah, I do. I do. Deliberate discomfort. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which means that instead of choosing the easy way, yeah. the easy path, uh they used to say follow the path of least resistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My feeling is that you should be following the path of greatest resistance because that challenges you. it challenges you to be the best you are yeah and in so doing it strengthens your character and makes you a better person yourself and also makes it better for you to have relationships with other people yeah my next question is that uh, what is the most important for you like like the best like the most satisfying thing for you is it money is it fame or is it something else of others is probably the most important part in in my life. 
life, whether it's within my family mm. or my community or the community that I have adopted on the other side of the world. So where do you see the world in 2050? I hope to be here. <laughs> I don't know whether I will be. You that surely. Would be, that I would be 102 years old. <laughs> How old are you? So, pardon? How old are you? 72. Okay. But I do not, but I do not, I do not behave like I am so I'm 72. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know you. Yeah. So, what are your learning sources? Mostly life experiences. Okay. Do you want to re recommend any book? Um, yes. Uh, the Four Agreements. Okay. Have you heard of it? No, I haven't. The four agreements, the four, well, you should find it. And uh, I know that it is translated into many, many languages. Okay. And um, I have, I listened to that on Audible Books. Okay. And I have probably listened to it at least 10 or 15 times. Okay. It's that important uh, to not only to listen to it, but to hear it, to, um, understand the four basic agreements uh, in life and then to practice them. Right, right. Sir, what is spirituality according to you? Lord Ganesha or Krishna or Shiva, uh, Bhagwati or Jesus yeah. or Muhammad. It's, they're all, they're all the same. Yeah, yeah. When I traveled to India in 2011, yeah. I went to a conference um, in Mumbai yeah. with friends of mine who, and there was, a, uh, there was a very wise guru there, and I remember asking the question, you have so many gods, you have hundreds of gods yeah. in India, mm. how, do you, how do you justify that? And he said, basically, they're all different visualizations of the same God. Yeah, yeah. We all have the same God. And um, it's just serving God, whether it is in India, it's serving God through his people yeah, yeah. and, uh, and making, making life better for them. And in so doing, you make life better for yourself. Yes, yes. yes. Do you meditate? Do I meditate? Yeah. I meditate, yes, uh, generally very, very early in the morning. After I spoke to you earlier or we were chatting okay. earlier, um, I actually went to a nearby lake. Um, it's probably about five miles from here. And I saw some of the most spectacular sunrises that I've ever seen. The colors were amazing. The lake was like glass. It was uh, okay. a perfect mirror image, and um, and to be able to appreciate that, to experience it first, and then to appreciate God's miracles yeah. every day. Extraordinary. Um, yeah. So yes, it, it was. It's beautiful. So what I exactly? Will you, I will send you some pictures uh, right. uh, on WhatsApp from my from the sunrises this yeah. morning. Okay. So, sir, what do you do in your free time? With my free time, I don't have much free time. I work. Uh, I usually am. Uh, I arise at about four o'clock in the morning. Right. And I work about uh, twelve or sixteen hours every day, and uh, then I go home and have dinner and go to sleep and start all over again. Okay. Okay. So, what are what do you think are your biggest uh, strengths and weaknesses? weaknesses? so that is not a good thing um, but I don't, I don't know what I don't know whether I don't know what my strengths are um, other than the fact that uh, I love what I do for work and I also love passionately what I'm able to do through Rotary International in other parts of the world particularly 
So, what's your connection with India? Um, I have many connections with India, but the first time I came to India was in January of 2001. Okay. And when I came there, I found a part of my soul. Oh. So much so that in uh, 2012, um, on the 100th birthday of my mother, uh, she had died several years before, mm -hmm. but I saved her ashes and I brought them with me to India and I dispersed them in uh, the Ganga in Rishikesh. Okay. And, uh, and, and so, so part of me, part of my mother is there yeah. everywhere in India and yeah. I feel that every time I go back to India, it's like going home. Yeah. Do you think that you are at an advantage of being born in America? In some respects, I guess yes. Um, I have the I have the opportunity to um, become anything I wish. But I think I think regardless of where you are born, if you have faith. Uh, then you have that opportunity also to better yourself and to become anything that you wish to become and to do anything you wish to do. So, do you believe in God? Absolutely. Okay. Well, I believe in God and I, and, uh, and I believe, um, you know, if you, depending upon what you listen to and the legends that, uh, that are around, I believe that... Um, God has come to earth in many, many forms, uh, and whether it is in the form of, of Krishna, um, or whether it's in the form of Jesus or Muhammad, uh, I think they are all messengers from God, and I think that we are very, we are very much strengthened if we listen to those. So, my last question is that, what advice would you give to the viewers? How do I find my passion? How do you find it? Yeah. It will happen. You don't have to look for it. Okay. Can you can you elaborate that? I think you have to be open to everything and then to uh, uh, see how you respond to it. And then if uh, if there's something that uh, that resonates with you, then follow that. Okay. So thanks a lot, Mr. Elias. And I really learned personally. I learned a lot from you, and the viewers are really gonna enjoy this this talk.